dare to venture down Bizarre Boulevard, a realm of mysterious creatures and strange occurrences that defies the boundaries of reality. No matter which path you choose, remember that all roads eventually lead to this chilling and enigmatic destination. Welcome to Bizarre Boulevard. Today we'll be discussing the bizarre death of Ruthie Mae McCoy. In the annals of Chicago's history, the name Ruthie Mae McCoy stands out as a stark reminder of a tragedy that unfolded in the heart of the city's public housing system. A resident of the Grace Abbott Homes, McCoy's life was brutally cut short on April 22, 1987, in a crime that sent shockwaves through the community and beyond. Her mysterious death, which was followed by a terrifying 911 call, has since been the focus of countless stories and investigations. Elements of the horror movie Candyman were even inspired by her death. The life and death of Ruthie Mae McCoy are examined in this article, along with the circumstances of her murder, the subsequent inquiry, and the legacy of her narrative. On the fateful night of her death, McCoy made a frantic call to 911, reporting that someone was trying to break into her apartment through her bathroom mirror. Her voice, laced with fear, echoed through the phone line as she pleaded for help. However, her pleas were largely dismissed, and the police response was delayed. This call, which would later be scrutinized and analyzed, painted a chilling picture of the terror McCoy must have felt in her final moments. It also highlighted the systemic failures that allowed her pleas for help to go unanswered, leading to a tragic end that could have been prevented. Two days after her frantic call to 911, McCoy was found dead in her apartment. She had been shot four times, her body bearing the brutal marks of a violent struggle. The assailants had entered her apartment through an access panel in her bathroom, which connected to the neighboring apartment. This chilling detail added a layer of horror to the crime, revealing the vulnerability of McCoy and other residents in the building. The crime scene, marked by signs of a struggle and the haunting silence that followed the violence, served as a grim testament to the brutality of McCoy's murder. The investigation into McCoy's death was fraught with difficulties. Despite the presence of witnesses who reported seeing two men carrying McCoy's belongings on the night of her murder, the charges against the suspects were eventually dropped due to a lack of evidence. This failure to bring McCoy's killers to justice highlighted the systemic issues plaguing the city's law enforcement and judicial systems. It also left a cloud of uncertainty hanging over the case, with many questions about McCoy's death remaining unanswered. The Grace Abbott homes where McCoy lived were notorious for their high crime rates. Drug-related violence was rampant and the housing project was even more dangerous than the infamous Cabrini Green. The grim reality of life in these projects was marked by fear and uncertainty, with residents living in constant dread of becoming the next victims. McCoy's murder underscored the urgent need for reforms in the public housing system, highlighting the dangers that residents faced on a daily basis. McCoy's death brought to light the systemic issues plaguing Chicago's public housing. The design of the apartments, which included access panels connecting neighboring units, facilitated crimes like the one that led to McCoy's death. This architectural flaw, coupled with the lack of adequate security measures, created an environment where crime could thrive. McCoy's murder served as a stark reminder of these systemic failures, sparking calls for reforms to ensure the safety of residents of public housing. Despite the arrest of two suspects, the trial did not result in a conviction. The lack of concrete evidence and the dismissal of witness testimony led to the charges being dropped, leaving McCoy's murder unresolved. This outcome was a bitter pill to swallow for those seeking justice for McCoy. The trial, marked by its lack of closure, underscored the challenges faced in prosecuting such cases. It also highlighted the need for reforms in the judicial system to ensure that victims like McCoy receive the justice they deserve. The murder of Ruthie Mae McCoy left a lasting impact on the residents of Grace Abbott Homes and the broader Chicago community. Her death served as a stark reminder of the dangers of living in public housing and the failures of the system to protect its residents. The fear and uncertainty that followed her murder cast a long shadow over the community, affecting the lives of residents for years to come. 
Despite the passage of time, the memory of McCoy's tragic end continues to evoke fear and demand change. The 1992 horror movie Candyman was partially inspired by McCoy's death. In the film, which is set in the Cabrini Green housing projects in Chicago, a lady is attacked by a perpetrator who enters her apartment through her bathroom mirror, which is uncannily identical to the circumstances of McCoy's murder. This cultural reference to McCoy's death brought her story to a wider audience, highlighting the real-life horrors faced by residents of public housing. The film served as a chilling reminder of McCoy's tragic end, ensuring that her story continues to resonate with audiences around the world. The tale of Ruthie Mae McCoy endures more than three decades after her passing. Her untimely demise serves as a strong reminder of the critical need for justice and public housing improvements. Although her passing was horrific, her tale continues to spur discussions about these crucial problems, ensuring that her legacy endures. As we remember Ruthie Mae McCoy, we are reminded of the human cost of systemic failures and the urgent need for change. Her story, marked by tragedy and injustice, continues to demand our attention, urging us to strive for a world where such horrors are a thing of the past. Thank you for watching The Tragic Death of Ruthie Mae McCoy. We'll see you next time.